Golden State Warriors, 14-0, and 0, okay, seeking perfection, and that's not the case, but they're certainly playing like a team that could possibly do some amazing things. They're taking on the Denver Nuggets to try to win their 15th game. Denver, on the other hand, struggled a bit. They're 6-7, and seven, all right? Their horse underneath, Kenneth Fareed, is playing, but he's not 100%, and he'll be the first to tell you. All right, also the center, Joffrey Laverne, is probably going to miss today. There's a chance he will play, and if he does, he won't be anywhere near 100%. All right. What I like is the fact that Golden State has come the last two games from behind against two very good teams, all right, and they've won. All right. They came back against the Clippers and got the W, came back against the Bulls and got the W. So this is a team that's focused, and obviously there's no hangover from the championship last year. All right. I'm just a big fan of every component of this team, from ownership all the way down. And it's not because they're winning, not jumping on the bus. Hell, I loved it when Mark Jackson had this team. Let's not forget, he is the one, all right, that took this team to the level that they're at. Steve Kerr obviously polished it off, but here he is. He's not even on the sidelines right now because of a back injury. Luke Walton, for crying out loud, sitting on the sidelines. And this team basically coaches itself. They are a machine. Okay, Just Bet had this line coming out today, Golden State minus 11, and the first half is minus 6. That's where my play is. I like Golden State at home because Denver is just not a run-and-gun early team. Golden State, they don't want to get in any deficits again, and I thought this would happen with the Bulls, and it didn't. But, hell, nobody wins them all. Golden State is still covering damn near 80% of their first halves. So I'm jumping on that today. Golden State Warriors on the first half, minus six, as they seek another win to go 15-0. Don't miss it.